tour day. Going to Lancashire in Preston, no, Preston in Lancashire. Uh, so I need to pack uh, to go and play a show at the Continental uh, tonight with the Dunicans. And packing can sometimes be a bit of a pain, but this is it. Phone and watch charger in one, wireless, easy. In the back, iPad charger. These things, because they make me smell nice. These are very important when you're going to hotels. These are earplugs. So people in hotels sometimes are there to party. I don't want to deny them of that, but I need to sleep because I'm on tour. So these help me do that and let the people party. Earplugs, they're very cheap. And mine have got a bear on the front. I bought this from my dentist for £100. It stops me grinding my teeth in the night. I use it maybe two times a week. Earphones, Bluetooth, not Bluetooth. Pants and socks. Always take one more pair than you think you actually need. That is a rule. Okay, so let's get in a pretty full bag now. Are you gonna miss me when I'm on tour? Are you gonna miss your daddy? No. This is all the stuff I'm taking for two gigs in a three piece acoustic band. And Scott takes a lot more than me. Yikes. Get it all into the van now. So uh, I'm driving now to the local petrol station because uh, the van only has 57 miles of gas left in it and uh, Preston is considerably further and then I've got to get to Knutsford and then I've got to get back. So I'm just going to fill her up. Yikes. And there we go. That should get me all around this weekend. And I managed to get some tasty snacks as well. And I have now arrived in Preston. I'm at a Premier Inn. And the bathroom has got the most ingenious door I think I've ever seen. It's a double door. It, it's like shut there, yeah, so that's like the bathroom. But then when you come in, it's a door here also to the bathroom. It's, it's a double door. There's three of me. I get a lot of angles. So now the plan is to um, wait here for about an hour and then I'm going to get a lift to the venue with Alan and Claire. Feeling that's not going to fall off? So we've arrived in Preston at the Continental. We're gonna rock. We're gonna rock it and roll We're it. Rock it, Scott. Hello. We're gonna How we doing? What's your name? I'm, I'm Scott Dunican. How old are you? I'm. Uh, <laughs> you shouldn't ask a, a, a lady of their age. <laughs> I'm. Uh, I'm 43. And what do you play? Uh, the idiot. I'm Bjorn. I'm 25, and I play the banjo. I'm Alan. I'm 47, and a liar. <laughs> <laughs> and tonight we're playing in Preston in this place. This place, which is very nice. Very nice room. We're just waiting to sound check. That's good beer. La, 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 la. So we're all sound checked. And the uh, show doors open in five minutes. We've got changed. Lights are sorted, sounding really, really good on stage. Sounds lovely, though. And good out front. See how it goes. Now look at my setup. So wireless unit. That goes into tuner, which goes into a booster. EQ that I'm not using. Doing gig rig, yeah. Octave that I'm not using tonight. Delay. Second delay. Switch pedal, which goes into three DI boxes. 
And then that goes off to front of mouse. And then I also have this little um, Ineas rig that I built. So a little transmitter, and then aerial, and an input, which is coming back from the desk. So I can hear stuff. Got I'm going to give you the uh, rig run down. So basically, uh, this is the thing that stops me from forgetting all my words. Yeah. It's uh, it's there, so I can skip and remember things. I can, so I've got all two keys. Very really good. Very good. This, uh, which isn't in the right position at the minute, is for any tracks that we use on stage. That pedal, uh, it basically just allows me to put reverb and stuff like that on my vocal if I need it, certain things. Uh, this one makes my synthesizer uke sound like a synthesizer. This just makes my guitar sound nice. This is a selector pedal, so I can choose my instruments. Um, this one puts in extra harmonies if we need it, uh, particularly for things like camper van love. And this is a flux capacitor, because every every pedal board needs a flux capacitor. It goes up to 88 miles an hour as well. And this is a wah, a funky um, trigger pedal for the uh, intro tape and stuff like that. Sorry about that. <laughs> Should have warned you. Um, this is my looper for looping things, and that's just my selector pedal. Uke, microphone, guitar, and right behind here, we've got a sneaky smoke machine, and I've got a little thing on here now, so I can just go. Bloody Stop hell. Out. I know, crazy, isn't it? You could get Alan in for this. Got a keyboard, got a pedal board, got an EQ. DI boxes and some stuff. Cardian. And an SM58 with a big dent in it. The, uh, it's all he needs to rock. It's, it's lovely to be back in Preston. And we're, we're obviously on uh, night number three yeah. of, of our, our Winter Woolies tour. And ladies and gents, all the way from Hurdy Gurdy in Sweden. He should have gone back after Brexit. And he is on the run, but we don't know whether it's from Crick Patel, so I'm around. I don't know who's in at the minute, so. Uh, he's on the run from wherever the Home Secretary is. How you doing, Bjorn? Hello. Yeah, it's wonderful to be here with you. I'm really glad to be back on tour. Um, we have a we have like a, a shallow uh, period, a uh, fallow period. Fallow. Shallow. We're always shallow. We're always shallow. <laughs> uh, between festivals and this tour, where we get a really good opportunity to write some new jokes. So you'll be really glad to know that I've got about an hour and a half of cracking stuff on this truss. <laughs> No introduction here in Preston. Is that what you're doing again? Oh, that's beautiful. Thank you. I've missed that. I got here a bit late, to be honest. And then a half price descaling day at my dentist. So I, I thought, you know, we'd be in Black Friday. Hey! Yes, we are. We're, we're, we're a proper uh, serious folk trio. Oh, yeah. No funny business in this act. Mm -hmm. So we start with a proper folk song. All around my hat, I will wear the green willow. And all around my hat, for a twelfth and a day. And if anyone should ask me the reason why I'm wearing it, it's my chopping business. It's my chopping hat. Now, I just want to check before we do this song, is there any other musicians in the room? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. Put your hand up if you're playing a musical instrument. That's very what do you play? Guitar. Guitar. He, he plays guitar. He does. Any good? <laughs> just a little bit. I'll do. Come in. <laughs> what is your name? Zabier. It's what? Zabier. Yeah. And how old are you? Uh, 26. 26? Yeah. And, uh, did you, did you expect this to happen tonight? No. <laughs> Basically, what you need to do is play this very, very complicated part, right? It's really hard. 
He can do it, she says. <laughs> Play like this into this microphone, preferably in time. In time? <laughs> or it comes right off. If you cock it up, it'll ruin the whole gig for everyone. <laughs> but if you get it right, they're gonna love you. Yeah. yeah trash. I think the sign of a good gig is if you can end with a pint of Guinness. And, uh, I mean, have you got your pint of Guinness? An happy, uh, an happy gig. We've had a right good, good night tonight. Well, I think that went really well. I think we all did yeah. really good. Preston, yeah. if you're watching, thank you. it was very nice. Bang on. And now the unglamorous part of touring. Stacking the chair. We have to now clear away all of this. All the fun. <laughs> and these poor guys have put away all these chairs. I actually quite like because it, it's quite therapeutic. At the end of a night, after after being a rock star, folk star, whatever we are, <laughs> is that what we are? I don't know what we are, but yeah. we get to go back to our travel lodges and premier inns <laughs> and have a pot noodle. Pot noodles on my card. <laughs> what what flavour are you tonight? Oh, I've gone posh, me. I'm going for one of them pastas in a cup. Oh, we've got a man just gone for that. We've got two cheese, yeah, sun dried tomatoes, olives, all in a in a bowl. We've got snacks and some uh, some crackers and, oh, and that sort of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've got, got we've got beef and tomato, king size pot of noodle, and Amanda's got one of them pot uh, mug shop things. Oh. Anyway. It's fine. It still works. Good work, mate. I think I know what we're going to go for. Oh yeah. Oh, so that's pre breakfast done. Uh, very good breakfast actually, Premier in. well done. So now, got a couple of hours left in the room, so I'm going to get some work done. Oh, right, well that actually turned out to be quite a productive use of my day. I've just been in this pub over here, um, editing a video, this video, uh, and I've yeah, been there like ages, had a sandwich and stuff. Been sat with uh, Mike and Claire. Uh, they've just gone off and so am I. So yeah, brilliant day. Now off to Knutsford via a supermarket for a meal deal.
you back. <laughs> this is the angriest folk song I've ever written about a shed. <laughs> Dry January in the audience. <laughs> Four people, oh, a few people at the front. Oh, is that somebody at the back as well? Oh no, you're just drinking out your pint, fair enough. <laughs> I, I did try, I had to go at it. It's that thing where you give up booze for January. What? <laughs> <laughs> uh, clearly an athlete to some of you. Um, now, uh, it was something that I've never considered doing. And after I had to go, it was the mornings I struggled with. <laughs> So, Alan, would you like to explain to the boys and girls what happened to you uh, just after the video cut off in the first half? I had a fall. You had a fall? I did have a fall. And where does it hurt? It hurts here. Yeah. Here. Yeah. A little bit, a little bit here. And a little bit inside as well? It, it's the shame of it, really. Yeah. It's, I can't see my feet. When I've got my appendage, I don't know, otherwise known as accordion on, I can't see my feet. Um, and uh, I just got carried away in the moment. And went uh, bottom of the breakfast time uh, yeah. on the steps. Well, uh, you'll be glad to know that I think I speak for both of us. Both me and Scott will definitely not take the mick out of you for the entire second half of the show. <laughs> That's, I appreciate that, and I know you won't because you're, you're stout fellows and uh, of good character. Yeah. And you wouldn't do that to an older man. No, I wouldn't. No. They think it's all over, but it's time for. Two. Ladies and gentlemen, the Bar Stewart Sons of Val Dunican! So we got this survival blanket. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm fine. So, um, the, uh, the next song... Where's he gone with this battery? How's a bad shot? Tell the joke, Scott. I don't know. Oh, I've got one. Go um, on. your career. No. You <laughs> <laughs> said you got the battery. This is our merch, a varied selection. <laughs> I'm not for sale. <laughs> We're done until next weekend in Banbury. Uh, but it's been smashing. Uh, what do you think, Alan? It's been a brand spanking weekend. It's been brand spanking. Brand spanking. All... Have you ever spanked brand? I have not. No, no, and I'm not sure it would be that satisfying. But... No. So yeah, now we've yeah. got to just Bring pack. On, but... would live in a van like this.
Lovely, thank you. Whew. Time to hit the road. That's it, I'm home. This weekend's tour is over. It's quite late, I'm tired. I've driven through bad rain. Thank you so much to everyone who came to any of the shows this week. They've been amazing. Thanks to Scott and Mike and Claire and Amanda. And uh, thank you obviously to all the staff at the pubs and venues and uh, hotels. Um, I hope this video has been entertaining for you. Uh, let me know if you'd like to see more. Uh, and I'll be back on the road again next weekend in Banbury. Um, but yeah, keep safe. Look after each other and uh, see you soon. Bye.